Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft. I hope that you are excited today because I'm excited. Oh my my. So first off, the controversy from last episode was that I accidentally titled the episode Heat of the Sea. I have, I have now fixed the title so that it is now Heart of the Sea. But uh, it took me like two days to actually fix that because I just posted it, went about my weekend, came back to work on Monday, was like, oops, I did a thing wrong. So anyway, uh, that out of the way, what are we going to do today? Well, I got a fantastic comment, and let me read that. This is from Dilpreet Sai. Hey, Chad, you should loot a Bastion Remnant! You have to say it all in caps, or as you gotta scream it, you know. Uh, in the next episode, also some more suggestions. Make a gold farm, please. Make a bamboo farm, and make a sugar cane farm. Okay, whoa, 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 with the- You're allowed one suggestion, and no more! No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for your suggestion, and that is what we are going to do today. It was fun to read through the comments because literally everybody was like, heat of the sea, heat of the sea, heat of the sea, because I misspelled the episode. Uh, and so finding an actual episode suggestion was difficult. Remember, that is where I get my motivations for my episodes. So leave a comment down below letting me know what you think I should do in the next episodes of OMG Craft. Of, of How to Minecraft. <laughs> I, I confused myself with my naming schemes. So, we are going to go fight a Bastion Remnant. And if you don't know what that is, that is a structure inside of the Nether where all of the piglins live. Basically, that is their village in a way. You know, the villagers have villages. The, the piglins have Bastion Remnants. Inside of them will be some stronger piglins and a whole bunch of loot. On top of that, we can tear the whole thing down to get a ton of blackstone. So I'm going to make sure that I have good armor. In fact, I, I'm going to make sure to have my diamond uh, chest plate with me. And I'll probably switch out of my elytra once I find the remnant. And I also definitely want some shulker boxes because I'm going to want to pull down all of the blackstone. And we'll probably get a ton of loot as well so i'm gonna make sure to have quite a few shulker boxes with me uh in order to uh to organize all that loot this is loot from our last adventure last episode so we got three shulkers with us and a ton of food and all of our armor maybe one episode i'll go back and get more netherite i know that that is a highly suggested topic in uh in the comments down below so that's really all you need and you also need to actually find the bastion remnant now inside of the nether they will basically spawn any oh hello bees what are y'all doing no don't oh my god okay we got bees up in here that's not what i wanted at all uh, but anyway, so Bastion Remnants will spawn basically everywhere except for the Basalt Deltas. Uh, the Basalt Deltas will not hold them, uh, but everywhere else you're pretty much good to go. So I, I, I kind of remember finding one before, but I don't remember where it was. So I'm just going <laughs> to think over down one of these tunnels I have a way to get to. Yeah, right here is my... my this is my stair step down, so we're just going to start kind of looking around for a Bastion Remnant. I should really get a Lodestone, shouldn't I? Well, I guess we'll get one in a... In a we might get one in a Bastion Remnant. <gasps> You're joking me. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my gosh. Is there anything I can do? Let me think. I don't think I jumped twice, so I don't think that I can use my firework rockets. I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay. I don't think there's anything. Well, this is bad! God, no! I jumped into lava. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe. I can't freaking believe. That is so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. The good news is, is that I have lots and lots and lots of emeralds. And with, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. This is, this is, this is painful. 
Last time that I lost all of my armor and whatnot, it took me about an hour to go through this whole process because I was running out of emeralds. I think that I have stockpiled enough emeralds that that won't happen this time, but it's still probably gonna be a while and I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I'm finished with the whole process. And we are back. So it's taken definitely over an hour and I have all diamond stuff. So we got mending protection. The one thing we're missing on the boots, I don't have soul speed three and I also don't have feather falling four. And on my sword, I don't have sweeping edge three. But other than that, we are all good to go. We're back up and running. There are a few other things that I didn't kind of realize that I died with. One of which being Carl, my bow which is real sad. And also I had like four shulkers on me, which really stinks. And so I think I'm gonna take a quick jaunt into the end to see if I can find another pair of elytra and also to get some more shulkers back because I don't want to only have one pair of elytra around anymore. The emerald situation was fine. It mostly was a issue with levels. I just had a hard time getting levels and uh, trading with the villagers actually helped to, to get those levels. So uh, we are all good there. Okay, so I'm in the end and I found a city and basically I'm just trying to get my shulker stocks back up, but also of course, Finding elytra would be great since I only have one pair right now and uh, I need more than one. <laughs> I'm worried about that. So we're going to kill some uh, shulkers and we're going to try to get more elytra. I finished with the last city. We have found another. This one looks like it has elytra. So we should be done with the end. Let's go grab this elytra though. Whooshoo, whooshoo. Ignore the shulkers. <laughs> And just aim for the Elytra. There it is. Get out of her. I don't want you. Did he teleport nearby? Where'd he go? He's over there somewhere. There we go. Aha! Another pair of Elytra. Some gold. Some iron. And uh, let's get back to the nether. Uh, <laughs> fire protection. I might need this. This may be a good thing for me. No. Okay. So let's uh, let's get a few more shulkers. I've already gotten eight, which means I've got back my shulkers that I lost, which is fantastic for me. And uh, then we will get back to the nether. Okay. I have found an in gateway, so we're gonna use this to teleport back to the end and get back home. Now we can go back to the nether and look for a bastion remnant. This time, by the way, I do have uh, fire resist potions. I'm gonna empty out my inventory and also switch these shells into actual shulker boxes, but that'll be that'll be easy. That'll be easy, easy peasy. Never been easier. That's not the rhyme, but uh, we are back, and I'm just gonna do that real fast. So we are back in the Nether, and this time I have some fire resistance potions. <laughs> for us so that if I do fall in the lava, I can drink one of those real fast. In fact, I should probably put it on my hot bar. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, uh, my protection bucket would have done nothing. Even if it was filled with water, I fell in such a thing of lava that there was just no way. I do wish that I had netherite armor on because then I would have been able just to get my armor back which and tools. That would have been fantastic. But alas, I don't, and I didn't. So uh, that is where we're at. Now is just time to go look for a Bastion Remnant. So I have found a Bastion Remnant. Here it is. It looks like a big old box. A box of black stone. That's really all it is. Now, I'm a dummy dum dummy because I should have been wearing gold in some fashion. Some, some way I should be wearing gold. So... I don't have any gold on me at all. In fact, did I leave? Where's my... Oh, I think I left my diamond chest piece at home. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Not good. We are not doing great uh, at the moment. So, I am going to have to fight literally every pigman. Uh, which is going to be just just fantastic. Just great. Uh, without a uh, diamond chest piece on, piece on. So, here we go. Oh, man. They hurt so much. <gasps> Ah! 
Okay. 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 I have on gold. You know what I need? I need. Uh, I need some. Some. I. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I need some food. And this is a rescue mission. I'm also gonna get a golden apple. Why not? And some ender pearls. I love this. This is great. Uh, the pigmen, piglins should not mess with me. And I should be able to get my stuff back fairly quickly. I don't think that I am going to have an issue getting my stuff back. I may have an issue with the hoglin, but I have some warped fungus for that. So let's see. I, you know, I, we're just going to keep the camera rolling because uh, it'd be nice. I'm going to show you where the bastion remnant was for me so you know it's just at the end of these stairs and then i've created kind of three tunnels you go straight now i need elytra for this so i grabbed my pair that i literally just found and i'm gonna eat before we go down there and have my firework rockets ready but you jump down here you kind of go around the corner and there it is so i should have died right there that is where i died i now have gold on and that, he's wearing my elytra. My gosh. Okay. Oh, man. That was a close call on that axe. Let's see. What else can we get? Oh, some stuff may have fallen in the lava. That would have, have been upsetting. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Uh, obviously, my helmet and my elytra are right there. Okay. I have my sword. Fantastic. Looks like my bow is missing at the moment. So, I can't find that. That could have easily fallen into the lava and then we'll kill this pigman and just a uh, piglin i'm gonna get that wrong in this entire episode uh we'll kill this guy in just a moment to get my elytra and my helmet back but it looks like my bow is the one major casualty because i have everything else axe pickaxe shovel mostly my bow and my inner chest i don't have my inner chest anymore boo i need that inner chest Okay, wait, why are you mad at me? Oh, because I opened that chest. Well, whatever, you have to die anyway. Give me back my diamond helmet. We're going to keep this gold one on, and I have the elytra back. <sighs> okay, well, after that horrible start, let's actually fight this thing. So, obviously, this thing is going to be filled with piglins, because this is kind of like their native home, in a way. And it'll also have the piglin brutes, which are going to be really mean because there's no way to get them from, from, like, hating you. And then if they hear you open a chest or break any type of gold, then they will attack. So, wait, this was empty? Did I get this before? Have I been here before? I'm so confused. Um, they don't have to see you open a chest. They just have to hear you open a chest. So... Uh, you may be attacked. You can block up to get them from attacking because they won't break, break through blocks. But uh, those are the reasons that they may attack. Now, the hardest part is going to be actually, like, navigating through this because it is an absolute maze. Oh, hello. I just broke through this because I like those uh, blocks. And I have found a whole bunch of gold block. How did it... How did this... Wow. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna pick this up. Let's see who we can aggro here. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, you can hear them. You can hear them go. <laughs> They're so mad. Hello. Get wrecked. Oh my gosh. Well, that was an instant kill. Well, that was fantastic. Okay. Anybody else? It looks like I have found a piglin, a hoglin, I guess. Hoglin stables is what I think that this area is. It's kind of nice. So. Uh, this area tends to have a lot of loot. It'll have some chests. And then, of course, it'll have the, the hoglins as well. But it's, like, very degraded. There's some. Uh, there's a chest over there. There's some gold. This is great. <laughs> the way I just said this is great. It kind of reminds me of, like, everything's fine. This is fine. This is fine. There we go. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. So much gold. A fortune two. And a sharpness five golden axe. Some chain. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, which one of these hands some stuff in it? Here we wait. Yes, you had some stuff in it. So far, the loot has been pretty good. I have gotten so many more gold blocks than I expected, and then also I, I'm just really enjoying collecting blackstone as well. Uh, I have <laughs> a lot of cooked pork chops from all of the uh, poglins that I've been killing, and I've noticed that my gold stuff keeps breaking because the durability is so bad. So. 
keep a lot of gold armor with you whenever you're going through this area. So yeah, so far, so good. I've only found these kind of two areas, which is a little upsetting. I was hoping to find a lot more. Oh, oh, oh somebody's upset. There, yeah, yeah, not happy, not happy, are you? And I'm gonna keep looking. I may go back to that area that I was just in and just start like literally just har whoops, harvesting blackstone. I guess, cause like this is an itty bitty bath. Gosh darn it! I did a second. <laughs> I this is just an itty bitty bastion. Let's try not to fall through the floor. So I went back to the original area and I kind of saw this area where you can like chill out through the middle, and I found the chests finally. I was like, there's gotta be more chests up in here, and here they are. By the way, pro tip: if you really want to get these without angering the pigmen, you can bring a hopper with you and put them underneath. Now they tried to nerf this technique because, uh, by the way, what what happens is is because you're not technically opening the chest, the hopper is pulling everything out and you're getting everything without opening the chest and that won't anger the pigmen. But they uh, nerfed this technique a little bit by putting gold underneath these chests. So there's a higher chance that the golden blackstone will spawn under the chest nowadays and that is so that you'll have to break the gold which that angers the pigmen now, i'm not too worried about these guys i've been fighting them off pretty easily so <laughs> i don't want any of that oh I've, apparently i have been here there's no way that i haven't been here i don't know when i found one of these earlier i like man i'm i'm bad at uh remembering what I have and haven't done in this world. And apparently I'm bad at finding the chest that I have found before, too. So I am gonna go search for another Bastion Remnant, since that one was A, looted, and B, not that very big. Let's go find another one. Okay, found another. Hopefully this is not looted by me already. It looks much larger, much, much larger, which I really, really like. This is looking good. Awesome. We are gonna loot this this one so much better. I feel like I have a good feeling about this one. All right, so ooh, we got some arrows for my non-existent bow. Uh, we have some not a lot, not a lot in this one. Uh, in this one, efficiency four pick, some crying obsidian. That's kind of nice, and that's about it. In this chest, I found soul speed two. I like that. I can I can use that, especially if I find another Soul Speed book. By the way, something I have figured out in this run is that every time you see these snoots, there's gold nearby. Like it is the it is like X marks the spot. Anytime you see them, seems like there's gold nearby. Now maybe not every single time. I haven't tested it all over the place, but it has been a great indicator that there is gold underneath or around that area. It's like how how these guys keep their gold hidden and how they remember almost by the lore of it. So uh, check out underneath any spot that you see the little snoot symbol. If that other area was too dark for you, here it is out next to some fire. So this block is basically X marks the spot for gold. Okay, I've pretty much looted this one as well. There is this area, but because it's like all over lava, <laughs> I have a little bit of uh, post-traumatic stress from the last time I fell in lava. So I'm gonna forget kind of that section, uh, but so this ended up being a small bastion as well. So I am going to keep on looking for maybe a third and then we'll probably call it a day. I will admit that I am a little sad that I have not found some of the better things like a treasure room with maybe some ancient debris in it haven't found that. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We just found another. Fantastic. I think this is brand new. I don't, I, I don't, I don't see any, I haven't recognized any of this stuff. So let's, uh, I, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, tempt fate here. I'm going to open, well, I was going, <laughs> I'll open this right now, but, uh, Hmm, there's, I want an escape route. Here we go, we'll build an escape route down here. Sounds good, okay. So let's open this up. Ah! Oh, pig step! Oh, this is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted, okay. Oh, 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 that hurts. Oh, ouch, don't do that to me. There we go. Okay, so we are all blocked up. 
I'm going to eat a golden apple just so that I don't die for a third time in this episode. And uh, pig step is fantastic because I did not have this until now. At least I hope because my memory is really bad when it comes out to Minecraft. Okay, we are we are out and they're not mad anymore, which is fantastic for me. Uh, also, like I, I probably should have killed off a few of these guys before I went and opened that chest because there is just uh, so much potential mm -hmm. around. Potential for piglins to be around because they all spawned in with this area. So that was probably went a bit of a smarter idea, but uh, I just went straight for that chest and got that pig step. I finally found some ancient debris. Just one, but pretty happy about that. And I've been getting a lot of cha uh, chains, which is kind of fun. Soul Speed 1, I have another Soul Speed 1 book right there. So we've been finding some good stuff, I gotta say. So far, like, here's a lot of the loot. We got a whole bunch of blackstone, which I'm really happy about. Tons of gold, so much gold. And uh, obviously, uh, the ancient debris. Okay, so we have left that remnant. And uh, I am now on my way back home, and I'm a little lost, so probably going to have to hit F3 to, to find out where I am. Um, so I'm pretty happy with all this. I've gotten three shulkers full of gear and blocks and items, so I am pretty happy with that so far. Now, I found another remnant. I can't... Did I... Did I loot this one? Let's go over here and see. Hi, have you been looted? Oh, you have not been looted. Ooh, spectral arrows. Okay, well, we'll loot this one before we head home. <laughs> Why not? We here, we're here and we have it. Holy moly, that's a lot of spectral arrows and gold. Oh, another pig step. Nice. Don't mind if I do. I am so glad that I stopped at this Bastion Remnant because I got the Snout Banner. Super excited about that. I actually think I already had that um, at my base, but that is... Another ancient debris. Oh my gosh. Super happy. Oh my. Okay. 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 I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I, j I got greedy. I got greedy at the end, and I don't even know where I am at all. I have no idea my coordinates. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I'm I I am shocked. I'm I am I am out. I am out. This has been How to Minecraft. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. If you want to directly support me, you can become a member of the channel. Becoming a member gives you access to my Java survival server, where the community plays. And also, also you get access to my videos early, when I, I try to post videos that I can early. You normally get them about 24 hours before everybody else. Basically, once they are fresh off the render queue, then I upload it and give it to the members. You can also support me by getting merchandise at helloomg.com, H-E-L-L-O-O-M-G.com. Uh, sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger though, y'all, but I am just out. See you later. Bye.